I never wanted this. I only turned this world into paradise to make it bearable. And then you arrived and made me blossom. Please, just let me go. If you truly wanted to leave, you'd have already done it. Or have you forgotten? I wonder if Aphrodite would still love you if she knew what a coward you were. Not having second thoughts, are you? She's right. I am a coward. She gave me the chance to leave once. All I had to do was fight, and I couldn't. I'm sorry, I can't do this. It's too big. Adonis, I want you to close your eyes and imagine Aphrodite. Don't let Persephone make you forget why you're fighting. You're right. It's Persephone's greatest talent, making us forget the ones we love. Keeps people from wanting to leave. Let's remind them, shall we? At the base of the Palace of the Colossi, you'll find one of Hermes's inventions, stolen from his workshop. It's said to destroy everything it touches. What are we destroying? Atop the palace is where Persephone keeps her sleeping Colossi. Bring the device there and make sure they never wake again. The smoke will let every rebel camp in Elysium know the time to strike is now. What are we waiting for? Try not to kill anyone. Success without detection and death is sure to convert more non-believers to our cause. I need to stay hidden. Ugh! 
Something's blocking this. Something's in the way.
When we first met, I laughed when you said you wanted to escape Elysium. And now? I pity the god who stands in your way. So what will you do? I have some preparations to make before our final assault on Persephone's palace. <laughs> I meant when this is over. For the longest time, all I could think about was getting back to Aphrodite. But my heart broke when you told me about her spy. You deserve the truth. You've been a good friend. I never expected to find one here. Come find me before we launch our attack. The rebellion's almost ready to make it start. I should check back with Ekati in case she's returned and get some answers. Persephone? I was looking for Ekati. I can't imagine what you need her for, but... Never mind. Do you know what the hardest part is about my life here? I don't. It's not knowing who to trust. Ekati has been my dearest friend ever since my mother, the meteor, sent her to me. But after that nonsense with Lethe's water, I've been keeping a closer eye on her. Ekati always tells me where she's going, but not this time. My spies tell me she's about to resurface for a secret meeting at Iphigenia's compound. Sounds like the meeting's not so secret anymore. That's where you come in. Spy on her and report back to me. I'm trusting you with this. Please, don't let me down. my chance to find out what the cat is up to too. There she is.
I was wondering when you would arrive, locksmith. You know I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Eckardi. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Alexios about the key to the underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's collar. Why would I want him running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that. I know you've been spending a lot of time together, and undermining Persephone in the process. Alexios has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least, that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power! Hermes, you know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> it's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Hermes. Let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. I need to get to Persephone first, no matter what. His collar is the key to opening the gate to the underworld. So, what did you find out? Hecate has been working behind your back. What folly is this? An outsider accusing me of treason after breaking into your sanctuary. Hecate is trying to frame me. I had nothing to do with the break-in. You are the only one with the key. Alexios stole it from me. Just like he stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. But Alexios destroyed it. Don't play games with me, Ekati. I know who was behind Lithi's water circulating in Elysium. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. Half of Elysium knows Ekati wants you out of power, Persephone. Why can't you see that? You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquents operating in Defcalion's heritage after this outsider helped her. The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes, 
No one was hurt, but Aconite was found in the wine. Your signature death sentence, if I recall correctly. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider, that someone matching your description was seen fleeing the Follower's Symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekathi is my oldest friend in the Underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over hers. Hecate has always been jealous of you. She wants your power over Elysium for herself. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Whatever part Alexios may have played in my misfortunes as of late, you played the larger role. And you are supposed to be my confidant in the underworld. My best friend. I had the best intentions. Whatever you were trying to do, you betrayed me. <sighs> We've received word those delinquents in Defkelion's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Adonis's troops should be strong enough to take Persephone down. I should let him know. I've had scouts looking everywhere for you. I didn't think to check Persephone's throne room. Of course you didn't. And thanks to me, Persephone blames Hecate. We have the advantage. That's so? Then we need to strike and we need to do it now. Hmm. For Aphrodite. And for your freedom to breach the gate out of this realm. All right, muster your troops. We're going to battle.
Don't get in my way! It was you this whole time? You let me worry about these delinquents? All my worry, all this suffering, was because of you! I told you, I'm getting to that gate, whether Persephone likes it or not! Now get out of my way! I will not! It doesn't have to be like this, Hermes. It could have been different between us. You were my friend, but you've given me no option. I have to protect the one I love. Ah! 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 
You failed me for the last time, Herr Mistress Megistus. That's it. Persephone's control over Elysium needs to end. Now! You! Don't move a muscle! You're letting a human get in the way of our friendship! You let him get in the way! You should have told me yourself, but all I hear spouting from your mouth are lies. I've had enough. In fact, I'm going to do something about that. Don't. You are never fit to lead Elysium, and I hate your dress. Good luck manipulating anyone with your lies ever again. If I were you, I'd leave before I say anything else stupid. How did you do that? It comes naturally to me. You're making a huge mistake. With war brewing outside my window, I wonder what you'd suggest I do instead. Your beautiful Elysium has turned to rubble. All because of your stubbornness, Persephone. You fool! I made this place beautiful for you! Nothing I've ever done for your love has been good enough! You're a prisoner too. You should know it's impossible to love your captor. This is the last time I'll ask. Let us go. Let me go! I do love you, Adonis. And true love is selfless. Go. Treat Aphrodite better than you ever treated me. Thank you, Persephone. I'm forever grateful. Go easy on Alexios. Your turn. We don't have to do this. Just let me pass through Elysium. Adonis would have rallied the people, with or without my help. You're lying! Persephone, you don't have to control everything. You're free to let go. Maybe... You can finally go home. You know nothing of what I've been through. I was stolen from your world. I had no choice but to take this one for myself.
out. What no the... time for that. Abstergos found us. Tell your boss I'm ready. Also, Berg can come get me himself, if he's not a coward. What the hell is wrong with you? What else could I do? They were out to kill us. Even Alethea ran for the hills. There was no reason to massacre them. Everything okay down there? It sounded like a war zone. We're fine, Alana. But don't expect much action anytime soon. Seems like this specific memory in the Animus is down for the count. Let me guess. That happened when you ripped me out. Great. That's the last thing we need. I had no choice. Complaining won't repair the computer. The memory files are overriding each other, and I'll need time to sort them out. You know what? I need some time alone. May as well head back to Greece until Alethea returns anyway. That wasn't so long of a wait, was it? I've patched the memories, and we're good to go back in the simulation. With the Sturger on our tails, we have to move fast. You can't blame me for being eager to get going. I won't blame you if you don't blame me for what happened earlier. It's just, Atlantis isn't our little secret anymore. Let's try to move on, shall we? Victoria, you have to trust me in there. I know what I'm doing. We're friends, Layla. But more than that, I'm your doctor. I can't ignore what's happening to your body when you're in there. Something is really off. I'm fine. I don't know how much more doctor talk I can take. Ugh, I'll never get used to that. She comes out of nowhere. Glad you're back. Bet even you didn't see that Abstergo ambush coming, Alethea. Not exactly. But as long as they're gone, you're ready. Your journey with the stuff continues. After that cliffhanger in the pit of Elysium, you bet I'm ready. <laughs> I have to see what happens next. By interacting with the Keeper's insights in Elysium, Alexios exchanged knowledge with the staff. That means by extension of the Animus, so have you. I gotta tell you, I do feel stronger somehow. Try to keep your head in there. Good luck, Layla. <laughs>